AZ that he's working on, but I don't know if it's tournament ready. Like, oh, I played man. it. I played it. It's pretty good, but I, like I said, I'm, I suck at this game, so I don't know if it's tournament ready for what he wants to <laughs> yeah, accomplish. I mean, and then that, that's just a, a hard character, Peach and Daisy, to get tournament ready after all. You, like, you have to have the combos down. It's, it's a really uh, execution-heavy character, one of the most execution-heavy characters in the Super Smash Brothers series, and that does not change in Ultimate. Yeah. Uh, and if you're just joining you guys, uh, thanks for joining us here for MSM number 181. Almost there for the big 200. We are at the Holiday Inn La Mirada Hotel, which is in La Mirada, California. So this is Edmund and Sedge on the mic. Uh, duo that actually we, we haven't commented in forever, dude. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Yep. But uh, we're back at it again, so yeah. uh, it's just like old times too, at the beginning of the stream, like when we used to, back when we were earning our, except earning we're, our wings. Except we, we, we know a thing or two now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, know, like, we knew like one thing back then, yeah. now we know like a thing or two. Now so. we're, maybe <laughs> three, maybe three. Yeah, we're working on it. But yeah, of course, uh, I'm curious to see what he's going to start off with. I feel like he's going to go DK, and then if it doesn't work out, then go the Paisy, but we're going to have to see. DK, despite not having the cargo throw, he's got a lot of stuff that he can do in this game still. He's got a lot of great potential. He's got different weaknesses. They're a little bit similar than he was. Uh, um, he's, he's got different weaknesses now. Instead, yeah. of, instead of ledge trapping, it's more so edge guarding now. Yeah. Because he loses a little bit more intangibility. And a lot more stuff goes through his arms than he did before sure. in Smash 4. And, uh, you know, one major difference is that the uh, you know main win condition for Donkey Kong and Smash 4 is not as strong in this game. But it is st still somewhat present. I'm not quite sure what the percent rage is on Palutena. But let's see if IDK can let us know and if he can get one on his own. Yeah, on uh, the cargo throw, you can get guaranteed combos at zero. But the main thing, if you want to try to get a kill, you usually have to do it on a platform. On yeah. a low ceiling like Pokemon Stadium 2, it is possible. But the first thing he's got to do is make it back from the stage. Yeah, actually Palutena, get some damage. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Palutena, one of the better er characters at ledge trapping and edge guarding. So it can be difficult, but just like that one cargo throw puts him at 51% already. Dude, why, why do I feel like if you got the grab right now, it might, it might be death for Palutena? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, gotta be careful. We'll have to see though. All right, neutral air. The next one might do the trick. He's gonna jump over the explosive flame, but he's not gonna be able to avoid the second one. Does make it back to the ledge. IDK at 165 now. There we go. Uses that burst option with dash attack. It does. It is kind of laggy at the end, but if you can get it, it puts him up in the air. Sets up great position. Tries to get that grab, but a bear out of shield. Recognized he was in the air. Was able to get something big out of it. And IDK just uh, slowing the pace of the match down to his favor, nearly bringing him all the way back with that, uh, that explosive flame catching the tech in place from IDK, taking his first life. All right, what's he gonna do here? Okay, I like the idea, but just spot dodge right through it. He's looking for that potential kill that- Oh no, yeah. oh, <laughs> what a bummer. Yeah, that's unfortunate, but it's a life of a DK main. Sometimes, sometimes it just happens. But gonna get that back air. Gonna go ahead and take out that next stock. Yeah, finally yeah. taking the stock off of Panic. Is that Panic King? Yeah, Panic King. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So he's doing really good with this Palutena so far. Uh, just spacing himself at the ledge. That's how he's been able to get most of the damage onto IDK. Is with the ledge traps. Uh, I mean, he did like about he, uh, over 100 damage on that first stock. Let's see if he can recreate that here. It looks like. IDK, though, f starting to find some answers of his own. Yeah. I feel like one big di uh, difficulty in this matchup, as I can see, is just that that Nair, Bear, and Fair cover so oh. much space, and Donkey Kong's hurt box is so big, it's just usually in that space where Palutena wants to occupy, and it's difficult for any DK main to really get out of that difficult position. Oh my god, IDK chasing, panicking so deep off stage. He's able to make it back safely. Oh, he's going to burn his giant punch, and that's going to be a down throw into the back air from panicking. Yeah, that's a beautiful uh, counter. Good counter. He's not going to be able to make it back. Yeah, like I said before, uh, edge guarding is usually the big difference uh, in the weaknesses now. Before, it used to be ledge trapping, but yeah. now that things like get up attack and stuff like that got a little bit buffed in this game. He's got a couple more options. It's usually the, the edge guarding, like I said before. The arms don't really have that intangibility they did on startup like they did in Smash 4. Right. It's really small, the intangibility. Like, Doc's na or Mario's Nair can go through it if you're positioning yourself correctly. So a character like Palutena... That sucks. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah, I think, I think Sakurai was watching old bots. It's like, <laughs> hmm, this, this DK is making it back to the stage too easily. <laughs> let's, let's go take care of that. <laughs> let's, let's do it.
Why not? But hey, let's see what the stage pick will be for IDK. Um, he's going to run it ba right back to Pokemon Stadium, too. I mean, I do think any stage with platforms is going to be great. I'm going to assume that panicking ba the battlefield as, like, just... From a quick thought, I think that might be his ba best stage because if he's able to get that grab at the right percent on any of the side platforms, he's able to jump onto the center platform and get the stock off the top much earlier. Yeah. But uh, he still do that platform combo on Pokemon Stadium 2. It's just going to be a matter of actually winning that very situational neutral exchange. Yeah, and you saw right there, it looked like that he was about to be right outside the range of neutral air, but DK is so big, it kind of got sucked back into the neutral air and he was still able to get that combo. So difficult for DK to make it out of these scenarios, but Panicking doing a good job of utilizing the tools that make this matchup so difficult. Still putting him on the offstage positioning, but he's going to get clipped by that up air. All right, IDK trying to make his way back, lands on this platform, able to put his shield back up. I like that landing. If the hits had connected all the way, it would have bounced Panicking into that up smash. So it's a really good setup for DK. Fortunately, not going to work out. Down tilt to pop him back off the ledge. What's he going to use this time? Oh, he tried to bait out something with that dash back, but a little bit too long just to be able to get up attack through it again and get the explosive play follow-up afterwards. All right. Both players just kind of parading around in the neutral. Explosive yeah. flame. Uh, at these high percents, it's kind of difficult because you know that both of you are trying to look for that kill move, so yeah. you just want to avoid them. But at the same time, you're trying to get that hit too. So one of you has to take that risk. But I think Panicking is trying to make it so that IDK takes that risk because he's the one at the higher percent regardless. Ooh, he counters through that forward air, but the position uh, just allowed him to not get hit by the counter attack. Neutral air is going to be enough to take him off the top. I mean, he was already at super high percent, but Donkey Kong is still a pretty heavy boy. Yeah. DK, not the best uh, air, uh, out of shield options or you know aerials to get yeah. out of boxing scenarios in this oh, game. Boy. So using that neutral air is such a good tool to be able to make it oh, and 56% already. That was so much damage coming out from Panic King who was able to tack on a big amount of extra percent on this second stock. But there's going to be up air from IDK. That was a good mind game right there. He dashed back a little bit just to make him think, okay, I'm trying to follow your drift this way. But then I didn't use any resources, but I see you drifting back and you're trying to avoid me, and I'm going to go and get that up there. All right, up to, oh, oh, I, what? <laughs> up tilt into time, into, into chest pounding. <laughs> that's, that's the real gorilla way. Oh my god, it's kind of uh, apes out here, but it's looking like it's a goddess's world in that back air, taking out IDK, leaving him on his final stock potential set point for Panic King right here. The neutral air is carrying him across the stage. Triple forward airs. He goes for it all with a down air. Yeah, and then the, the, the hitbox from that up, he's just saving his life at the very last second. But Panic King, he's got a very decent sized lead, so I feel like it might be a little bit Ooh. difficult. Finds a mix-up, doesn't find the spike, though. Yeah, he did force Panic King to burn, burn his double jump resource, so he tried to get him on the... Uh, uh, a a follow-up punish, but he wasn't quite able to space himself properly. 61%. Panicking is looking really good still on his first stock. Oh, okay. All right. We'll and take it. That's a <laughs> that's the correct way you're supposed to do it. If you try to do a cargo throw, run up back throw, and if their opponent texts, they actually have enough time to actually punish you while you're yeah. still off stage. The turnaround down throw is the best way to do it. If you have enough space, you should definitely go for it. And it landed him the kill with that too. All right, drifting back to avoid the explosive flame off stage. IDK has to be really careful now to make up almost 120%. Parry, no punish from Panicking. Oh, down tilt trips. Very smart and just waited for that hit confirmed. That's one of the big things in the DK Discord they are talking about. They really want you to make sure you can land those down tilt confirms. Especially because a move like that, it's minus on hit in the beginning, Ooh, but it's plus right there, but right there. Yes. Oh, oh puts them off stage. Gosh. Wow. Really great performance coming out from both players.